a. Let a be greater than 0. Find the derivative of the function ln ax. b. Using the definition of the function ln x and the fundamental theorem of calculus, show that ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a b for all a and b greater than 0. So let's do part a. I want to find the derivative of ln ax. That'll be easier if I just write this. Let y be equal to ln ax and then dy on dx is my derivative. So I have the function ln and ax inside it, so I need to use the chain rule. The derivative of ln is 1 on x, but I haven't got x inside my ln, I've got ax, so it's 1 on ax. And the chain rule said that I should multiply by the derivative of what's inside my function, and so I need to multiply by the derivative of ax, and the derivative of ax would be a because that's the constant next to x. And so looks like my two a's cancel and I get just 1 on x which interestingly is actually the same as the derivative of just ln x. Well now let's do part b. It says to use the definition of ln x so I, I should write down what the definition of ln x is ln x is equal to the integral from 1 to x of 1 on t dt. That's the definition of ln x. And well, the fundamental theorem of calculus says that if I know an antiderivative of this, all I need to do is put it here and go from 1 to x like that. Now obviously ln x is an antiderivative of 1 on t, but I can't use that. That'll just give me ln x is equal to ln x. But just a minute, I've just figured out an antiderivative of 1 on x. There's 1 on x, and look, here's its antiderivative, because when I differentiate ln ax, I get 1 on x. So what I could use is ln ax. That would be ln at, because I'm integrating with respect to t. And so that would be ln ax minus ln a times 1. So I get equal to ln ax minus ln a. So if I rearrange this formula and put the ln ax here, and the ln a on the other side like that I get this formula here so ln a plus ln x is equal to ln ax and I just want x to be b and that will solve it therefore ln a b is equal to ln a plus ln b